Planet Pippa, written by Malachi Doyle, illustrated by Andy Catling. Ugg and Og were aliens searching for new planets. Ugg's job was to fly the teeny tiny spacecraft and Og's job was to inspect the places and report back on what he found. Whoops, said Ugg, hovering over a new planet as an enormous flying creature came much too close. Ugg swerved to avoid it, but the spaceship flew straight towards Pippa's face, past her hair and into her ear. Squelch! Og, plucking up his courage, went out to inspect the landing site. Yuck, he said, for it was all pink and squelchy. Where are we? Planet Pink, by the look of it, said Ugg, from up in the control desk. Squawk! But what's that horrible noise I can hear? asked Og. I think it's that big white spacecraft we just missed, said Ugg. We must have set off its alarm. Blast off, Ugg, cried Og, clambering back on board, before any more of them come. So Ugg fired the rocket boosters and off they zoomed, around and around inside Pippa's head. Suddenly, it was all bright, bright, bright. Look out, cried Ugg, darkening the screen. I think we might be on a collision course for Planet Pink's sun. Phew, said Og, when they didn't hit anything. I don't think it's a sun, it's just a very bright world. What they could see was daylight through Pippa's eyes. There was a large human pouring out juice, a small human sitting up and gurgling, and another large human opening a box of yummy-looking sandwiches. What a delicious sight, cried Ugg, for they hadn't eaten for ages. I can almost smell them. I can almost touch them and taste them, cried Og. Go down a bit, Ugg. Maybe we can have some. So Ugg put the spaceship into downward thrust and they landed in Pippa's mouth. But just as they climbed out, she went to take a large gulp of juice. There's a gigantic flood coming, cried Og. We'll both be washed away. Grab one of those big white pillars, Ugg told him. They each took hold of one of Pippa's teeth and held on tightly as the liquid swirled around and past them. Phew, that was close, said a soggy Ugg. I was scared silly, said a dripping Og. The two little aliens leapt into their spaceship just as a fly landed on Pippa's neck. At first she didn't notice, but when it made its way around to her nose, she felt such a tickle that she opened her mouth wide and... Ha! 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 ha chew! The spaceship shot out of Pippa's mouth, went around and around and around and landed on her leg just below her knee. Feeling another tickle, Pippa raised her arm to swat it away. Just in time, before they were squished by a giant human hand, Ugg fired up the turbo boost. That's enough exploring for today, he said, as they rose into the air. Let's head for home, Ugg. I think we've seen quite enough of Planet Pink. We certainly have, said his weary friend. It's a scary, scary place. 